Hey guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to Show Me the Hogs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie a fishing line onto a reel, and we're going to get that done with an arbor knot. Now, the arbor knot is a great option if you're going to tie any type of line to any type of reel, whether it's fly line on a fly reel, mono on a spinning reel, or braid on a bait caster. Doesn't matter what the line reel combination is, the arbor knot is a great option to get that done. For this demonstration, I'm going to be tying fly line onto my two weight fly reel. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to take the spool off my two weight fly reel here. I feel like taking the spool off, I can tie this knot a lot easier if it's not on the reel. And I'm going to take my fly line backing. I'm going to wrap it around the spool. Give you a better look at it right here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the tag end of this. I'm going to slide it up underneath the main line of my fly line backing. And I'm going to create a basic overhand knot. Right, so once I've done that, it's going to look like this. And now that I've created that overhand knot, I'm going to pull it tight on that main line. And then I'm going to take this tag end again and create a second overhand knot. Right, so I got my second overhand knot. I'm going to pull that tight. And I've got some excess, so I'm going to take my knife and trim off that tag end right there. Above the knot, you don't want to trim it below the knot because then this isn't going to work very well. So now you've got a loop that wraps around your reel. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this tight. You can see both my knots. Whenever I pull all of this tight, both of those knots are going to come together and bump up against each other. And that's going to hold the knot in place. And that's going to keep the line wrapped around that reel good and tight. So at this point, it's nice and tight. I'm going to put my reel back together. And I'm going to begin relining my reel. And once I've got all my line back in there, the knot's complete, and I've relined my reel successfully. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Check out our Fishing Knots tutorial playlist if you want to learn more fishing knots to use on your fishing adventures. You can find that by clicking the thumbnail on the lower left-hand side of the screen. We hope to see you in the next video, guys. But until then, get out there, put a line in the water, because we were made to fish.